Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Hi, I'm Shannon Sweeney. I've been a player or coach for most of my life, and I understand the need to keep our kids motivated and safe. As a parent and coach, I also understand the need to make sure our children are protected. That's why insurance is as an important part of the game as a good coach is. I've known my fellow coach, Wayne Dietz, for 10 years. I've seen him motivate and inspire players both on and off the floor. I've also seen him make sure that our children are safe by making sure that the teams are properly insured. As a coach, we don't often think about insurance, and when you work with Wayne and his team at DNH Risk Solutions, you won't have to. They take care of everything with honesty and integrity so that you can focus on what you do best, coaching your team to victory. Since 1972, H&H &H Auto Parts has provided motorists in the Vernon area with the best auto parts and customer service. Our goal is to offer the best auto parts and customer service available at affordable prices to get you back on the road in no time. To learn about the superior parts we offer, please contact us by phone, 973-827-3459. Good evening and welcome to Vernon Vibes. As always, it's great to be with you. And I'd like to start this evening's uh, edition of Vernon Vibes with a few brief announcements of uh, things that are coming up. And I'd like to start with the um, Sussex County's uh, Technical School is presenting their second annual gala, their Veterans Tribute, um, to support, in fact, the, uh, the Veterans Cemetery on North Church. And that's Thursday, May 22nd. 2014. It's being held at the Votech School, and um, I'd like to encourage everyone. It's $15 a ticket. It starts at 6.15 p.m. that day. You'll have a great time, a great show, and in fact, you'll be supporting a very, very great issue. We are making tremendous progress on establishing a veteran cemetery in Sparta, New Jersey, the North Jersey Veteran Cemetery. And uh, as many of you know, I've been involved with it from the very beginning. I'm a very strong supporter of it, and I'd like to encourage you to be the same. So uh, go on out on uh, May 22nd to the fashion show at the Sussex Tech School, and I know that uh, you'll have a great evening, and you'll be supporting a tremendous um, um, benefit to the, the veterans and to the families of the veterans in northern New Jersey. I also would like to uh, call to your attention that uh, on June 1st, Sunday, June 1st, actually at 3 p.m., um, here in Vernon at the St. Thomas Episcopal Church on Route 94, um, the Community Choral Society Choir will be presenting A Little Beatles, A Little Broadway. It's a great show. It's being uh, presented, actually, um, with funding made available from the New Jersey State Council on the Arts and the Department of State, as well as a partner agency of the National Endowment of the Arts. So uh, mark it on your calendar, Sunday, June 1st, 3 p.m., St. Thomas Episcopal Church, a little Beatles, a little Broadway. I know you'll enjoy the show, and uh, I'm going to ask our producers, of course, to post the information so that you can have a chance to note it down. Those two upcoming events, uh, I know you'll really enjoy. This past weekend, we had our EarthFest. EarthFest is held at the Heaven Hill Farm on Route 94 north of town. It was a great success. The weather was a little chillier than normal, but we still had a tremendous turnout, and uh, the people who were there obviously enjoyed it. Um, the EarthFest is to the benefit of the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce Charities, which provide for scholarships to youngsters in Vernon Township. Those of you who came out, we appreciate your support. Those of you, in, those of you who missed it, you really missed a good time. Uh, but nonetheless, we all celebrated our Earth together. And as you well know, Vernon is an environmentally conscious community. I'll be back in just a minute. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Since 1972, H&H &H Auto Parts has provided motorists in the Vernon area with the best auto parts and customer service. Our goal is to offer the best auto parts and customer service available at affordable prices to get you back on the road in no time. 
To learn about the superior parts we offer, please contact us by phone, 973-827-3459. Welcome back. I've got a lot of things that I want to share with you. And uh, I want to thank all of you who uh, sent in your emails and, and communicated with me after the last edition of Vernon Vibes. Uh, I'm going to try in each one of our shows as we move forward this year to talk about a segment of your local municipal government and how it functions. And uh, for this evening, I want to talk about uh, in some detail the responsibilities under this new form of government that uh, you all voted in in 2010 and took, uh, uh, took office in July of 2011. You know, I alluded to it in the last meeting, but I'm still not sure um, that uh, the people in Vernon Township understand that the form of government that we now, our local municipal government functions under, is unique in Sussex County. We are the only strong mayor, council, optional Faulkner government in Sussex County. And frankly, this form of government is exactly like the form of government in Newark, Patterson, Camden, even New York City. The mayor of Vernon Township is not a member of the town council. And as I've traveled through the town and talked with people, I'm really surprised at how few of our residents understand that. When this form of government was presented to the people in Vernon back in 2010, the people who were putting it forward, all they kept saying was, you know, we're going to get to elect our own mayor. We've never been able to elect our own mayor. We're going to have a popularly elected mayor. And yes, that's exactly what we have. And I don't mind telling you that I'm proud to have been the first person popularly elected in Vernon Township's 225 plus years by the people. But the, the lack of information that was disseminated has caused tremendous confusion. And as a result, in many respects, our electorate is uninformed about how this government works. The council, led by the council president, this year that being Brian Lynch, is the legislative body. They have the responsibility for several things, but foremost in creating and passing ordinances, read laws, because ordinances are the municipal level equivalent of laws, and resolutions which are a voicing, if you will, of the intent of the council in terms of what they would like to see done and what they would not like to see done. The mayor's job is to take that information, ordinances, and or resolutions and execute it, implement it, see to it that it gets carried out. But in this form of government, there are some unique things that you may or may not know about. For example, the mayor has veto authority over any ordinance or resolution that the council should pass. Now, the way it works is, of course, that if the mayor decides to veto an action of the council, that mayor must, in 10 days from the um, final adoption, in writing, explain to the council why he is vetoing it. And at that point in time, the council has three days in which to convene a meeting to override the veto, which takes a supermajority or four of the five council members to override, or in fact, to accept the veto. I'll be back in just a minute to take this a little farther with you. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Since 1972, H&H Auto Parts has provided motorists in the Vernon area with the best auto parts and customer service. Our goal is to offer the best auto parts and customer service available at affordable prices to get you back on the road in no time. To learn about the superior parts we offer, please contact us by phone, 973-827-3459. Welcome back. As the CEO of the, of the community, the mayor in the strong mayor council form of government is, in fact, an elected town manager. 
despite the rhetoric, despite the political um, uh, conversations that have taken place, I said this in the last Vernon Vibes edition, if you take the New Jersey statute books and you read the, def the defined responsibilities of a town manager under the manager council form of government, which is what we had before, and you read those responsibilities, and then you open to the strong mayor council form of government and you read the responsibilities of the mayor in the form of government that we now have, you're going to read the exact same words exact same words. By statute, the state government recognizes that the elected mayor in the strong mayor council form of government is indeed the equivalent of a town manager. And so oftentimes I get people who call me or send me emails or say to me, you know, I need you to do this with the council or I need you to get this on the agenda or would you be kind enough to, to get this passed? All of those things, all I can do is suggest to the council, and I do that. Those of you who attend council meetings and who watch the council meetings on TV know that I have no problem in communicating with our council. We happen to have, a, I think, a great council for the most part, and we communicate well. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I have no authority, I have no vote, I have nothing more than the ability to communicate at council meetings and individually with council members here in my office about issues that we are attempting to resolve or about programs or projects that we are attempting to implement. And so if you come away from this evening's edition with nothing else, I would hope that you would understand that we now have a form of government with two branches, the council which is legislative, the mayor which is executive. I'll be back in just a minute. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Since 1972, H&H Auto Parts has provided motorists in the Vernon area with the best auto parts and customer service. Our goal is to offer the best auto parts and customer service available at affordable prices to get you back on the road in no time. To learn about the superior parts we offer, please contact us by phone, 973-827-3459. Okay. Welcome back. As I like to do, I like to review with you the actions that took place at the council meeting of uh, last evening, which would have been uh, uh, April the uh, 20, 28th. Uh, first and foremost, I can tell you that there were two ordinances that were passed unanimously by the town council, and those ordinances included an ordinance amending the salary ordinance for non-union employees. Um, you will recall that um, in 2012, we attempted to pass a salary uh, range ordinance, and uh, it was the subject of a petition, and it was the subject of your vote, overwhelmingly voting down uh, that ordinance because you were misled into thinking that the ranges would uh, generate the maximum income to all of the employees. Um, however, it is best practices from the Department of Community Affairs and in fact is uh, suggested by our auditors and all involved in public management that communities have salary ranges for those positions that are not covered by a contract. Now, the reason is very simple. It's a good management tool. But I'd like to tell you what Council President Brian Lynch said last evening as um, the second vote, uh, which was unanimously passed by the council. The salary range does not guarantee anyone a raise. What it does is it tells this administration and this mayor that you may not pay below a certain amount of money and you may not pay above a certain amount of money because the work that we have done shows that the range for a given job for non-union employees matches the marketplace and the responsibilities and the um, criteria required for a particular job. 
Uh, example being the the uh, director of our building department. That person has to have certain certifications. The CFO has to have certain licenses and, and certifications as so many of the other, the tax collector, the tax assessor. Those jobs are not just something that someone can walk in the door and do. There's a tremendous amount of studying and there's, a, there's continuing education that's required and there is testing and examinations that require certification. So these salary ranges are a management tool and at the same time uh, attempt to guarantee that Vernon Township stays competitive in the marketplace for these very limited number of people who hold the certifications that we need. That ordinance was passed unanimously last night by the council. In 20 days, it'll become effective, and at that point in time, I'll be talking to you and the non-union people about the kinds of raises that we anticipate for 2014. The second ordinance that was, uh, that was adopted last evening was an ordinance um, uh, for the um, authorizing the purchase of various equipments and repair, um, and um, it was in the amount of $112,000. Actually, it covered uh, four projects um, that will be um, funded out of the operating budget. And uh, again, we're looking forward to that. It's uh, some things that we, we seriously need, and I was happy to see the support on the part of the council. We also last evening recognized a young man by the name of Dan Monzo. Now, many of you have read about Dan and, and his success in the Paralympics in Sochi, uh, Russia this past winter. Dan, his parents, and his grandparents are residents of Vernon, and um, I just want to tell you that um, your mayor and council recognized Dan as role model of the year for young people in Vernon. Dan was involved in a motorbike accident at age 15, lost his lower leg. He didn't give up. He didn't quit. Being athletic all his life, he continued and continued his snowboarding and ended up on the United States Olympic, Paralympic team and competed in Russia. He's a fine young man. I've invited him to join me at a future Vernon Vibes, and I'll look forward to having that opportunity for you to hear what Dan has to say about his experiences. I'll be back in just a minute. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Since 1972, H&H Auto Parts has provided motorists in the Vernon area with the best auto parts and customer service. Our goal is to offer the best auto parts and customer service available at affordable prices to get you back on the road in no time. To learn about the superior parts we offer, please contact us by phone, 973-827-3459. Welcome back. Also at last evening's meeting, the Economic Development Advisory Committee presented to the Council their Vernon First cards. You're going to be hearing a lot about this little card in the very near future because Vernon has joined one of seven communities to participate in what is basically a reward program whereby when you shop at merchants who are participating in the Shop Vernon program and you present this card to that merchant, that merchant swipes that card and your discount goes immediately to reduce your property taxes in Vernon. It's a unique program. It's a great program. You're going to be receiving a letter from me with your card attached to it over the next several weeks as we roll out the Shop Vernon program. You'll be seeing ads in the local newspaper. There'll be a, a blurb on the Vernon Township website. May 1st is the kickoff date. Be looking for it. This is an exciting program and a way for you to reduce your property taxes simply by where you choose to shop in Vernon. It's a great pro program. Like I said, you're going to be hearing more about it. Last evening, it was introduced to the town council, and we, were very, we are very, very excited about the prospects of building the habit of shopping locally. Those of you who have watched Vernon Vibes from the beginning know I'm a very strong proponent of supporting our local merchants. This program is designed to, in fact, reward you for doing the same. So get on board. When you get your, Vernon, your Shop Vernon card in the mail, 
register it. There'll be instructions on how to go about doing that. It's real simple and carry it with you. And wherever you see the Shop Vernon sign in the, in the merchant's window, patronize them. It's to their benefit and yours. I appreciate you doing that. In addition, um, we announced last evening that the United Water Company has begun replacing all of the water mains in the Aspen Woods section of Vernon Township. And as part of that, we will be adding two fire hydrants in the Aspen Woods area, thereby increasing the safety, decreasing the amount of time necessary in the, in the event that there should be some kind of a uh, fire emergency in that neighborhood, and more importantly, helping the people who live there to experience a reduction in their property taxes because of the improved firefighting capacity that is seen by insurance carriers when there are hydrants present. So we're really happy about that. We're looking forward to that project being completed. For those of you who live in the area, I know that you, you see the construction going on. Um, the United Water Company has provided us with a bond, and uh, before it's all said and done, you will have improved water volume and you will have improved fire safety. Again, something that we're working toward on behalf of all of the people in Vernon Township. And mentioning United Water, I want to tell you that I mentioned at the last uh, VIBE session that we were proceeding with the negotiations with United Water for water in the town center. We had a meeting on the 14th of the, this month with the United Water Company. I am excited to tell you that what I thought was going to take some bonding on the part of the township will not be necessary at the present time. It may be two or three years down the road, but at present, we will be bringing water to the majority of the town center without the need for Vernon Township to borrow money to make it happen. I'm excited about it. As those negotiations come to a conclusion, I'll be happy to tell you and the rest of the community about how it's going to work, and that should be in the not-too-distant future. I'll be back in just a minute. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Since 1972, H&H Auto Parts has provided motorists in the Vernon area with the best auto parts and customer service. Our goal is to offer the best auto parts and customer service available at affordable prices to get you back on the road in no time. To learn about the superior parts we offer, please contact us by phone, 973-827-3459. Welcome back. Another topic of conversation last evening between myself and the council has to do with the um, completion of the 2014 budget. As you know, the operating budget was adopted um, at uh, the meeting before last by the council by a four to one vote. Um, the next step is to present to the council those items that um, they need to decide to approve a bond anticipation note for. The conversation I had with the council was really very simple. We anticipate a $1.8 to $2 million bond anticipation note to cover many of the things that are capital projects and equipment that we need for Vernon Township. They include uh, new chassis under some of our ambulance. They include turnout gear for the firemen, which now, um, uh, if we don't uh, take care of shortly, we will find our firehouses uh, in uh, contravention of the requirements of NIOSH as well as OSHA. It's extremely important that we see to it that our firemen have safe turnout gear, that being jackets and, and boots and pants and the like. Um, also, um, we continue the uh, the upgrading of our uh, police patrol cars, and that's part of it, um, as well as many, many other township property improvements. I bring it up because um, there has been some conversation and some questions about this particular bond. So I want to tell you, as I told the council last evening, borrowing money is not necessarily bad, particularly in light of the interest rates that we are now experiencing. What is bad is that when borrowing gets out of control, when there is no plan to reduce the debt that you're taking on. And one of the things that we have implemented since I've been your mayor is exactly that. From July of 2011 till today, as I sit here talking to you, 
Vernon Township has reduced the principal bond amount owed. I'm talking about not the, the total payment. I'm talking about how much we've reduced the actual amount owed by $4,505,606. That's in roughly two and a half years we've reduced the amount of money that Vernon had borrowed before we came to office by $4,500,000. You also will recall that two Vernon Vibes ago, I spoke of the 20-year plan that our CFO laid out, which in essence would keep our debt payment in the two and a half to $2.6 million per year, which is what it is this year and what it was last year and what it was my first year as your mayor. If whoever follows me into this office and whatever council exists in the future continue to follow that plan, for the next 20 years, we will be able to meet the needs of the community, to replace equipment, to see that our people have what they need, to see that your roads are fixed, to see that our buildings are kept up, and to be able to keep your property taxes stable. I won't promise you that you'll always see a decrease, but I will promise you that if this plan that we've laid out is followed, no matter who's sitting here, you will see your property taxes for local purposes be stable. Now I want to close this evening's program on something, on a note that does not sit well with me. And I recognize what I'm about to say, it doesn't apply to the majority of people in this town, but it affects us all. You know that I've been very proud of the accomplishments that we've had at Maple Grange Park in terms of the new playground, in terms of the new basketball court. This past weekend, some people, and I won't make a statement as to what age group, thought that it would be great to deface our property. They broke the lights on the, on the um, restrooms. They defiled and, and uh, broke the facilities in the men's room. They stuffed things into the toilets and urinals and the like so that they wouldn't function. And then they topped it all off by taking the swings that we had provided for the youngsters and wrapping them around the top crossbar so nobody could use them. I don't know who you people are that are doing it, but I'm going to tell you this. If you think for one second that your government is going to tolerate it, you're wrong. I'm telling you now, and I'm warning you now, you're going to get caught. And when you do, you're going to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Those facilities are there for the benefit and the enjoyment of the people in Vernon Township, not for your uh, sick behavior that simply destroys property for no good reason. You're going to get caught. And believe me when I tell you, we're going to see to it that they get the book thrown at you because that kind of behavior is not going to be tolerated in Vernon Township. And lastly, for those of you who use the park, Maple Grange, to walk your dogs, if, in fact, you don't begin to follow the rules of picking up your dog's droppings before you leave, I'm going to bring an ordinance to the town council preventing pets in the park. There should be never a time when people walk, walking or running on the exercise path have to do it by avoiding dog feces that's been left there by lazy people. I certainly don't like to end my program on a negative note, but ladies and gentlemen, Vernon, Take me seriously. That behavior is not going to be tolerated, and we will take steps to rectify it. Have a great evening. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next Vernon Vibes. Thanks for joining us.